Hey, what's up? It's your boy 49er Tone. Wanted to make this video after the 49ers ended their season 6 and 10 by beating the Cardinals 38 to 7. Um, right now it's Monday night. Uh, about to watch my Stanford Cardinal. If y'all don't know, uh, or know me too well, then you know you wouldn't know. But I'm a huge Stanford Cardinal fan. I've been a Stanford fan all my life. It goes with my grandma. Uh, so I, I'm juiced. Uh, this is the biggest Stanford game I've seen since, you know, this Rose Bowl in 99, you know, against Wisconsin. Um, so, a shout-out to my boy Don V. I know he's a big-time uh, Virginia Tech fan, so, you know what I'm saying? I hope it's a good game, bro. Um, but really, just want to get to the Niners before I w get into uh, watching the Stanford game. Uh, what can I say, man? Disappointing season. Very disappointing. Um, the 6-10. Um, even seven and nine, even eight and eight, there's uh, it, it, there's no excuses for any of those records um, going into the season. Um, but we won yesterday. I was happy. I guess we got the seventh pick instead of the fifth pick. Um, but you know, hey, I'll, I'll take the seventh pick. You know, I, it's nice sweeping the Cardinals. Um, but you know, it's. We, we, it, it didn't really matter, you know. It, uh, Tom Sula is not a future head coach with us. Um, not well, at least you know, maybe down the road. I don't know, but he's not a future head coach for us. You know, uh, the, the the game was the, you know who the Cardinals they gave up. I mean, it was just a meaningless game. You know, nothing to look forward to. Um, without the direction being cemented and that our direction hasn't been cemented yet and that goes with the GM and the coaching you know the, those have to um, be set in place for us to move forward so I mean yesterday's win it was, it was great man I, I had a good time watching the game I I, uh, I didn't get to go yesterday uh, plans came up but I, I got to watch it uh, with my dad and, you know, it's always good to watch games with Pops, you know. But, um, no, it was just an old-fashioned, you know, ass-whooping, you know. Nothing like a blowout. But, like I said, man, there's nothing to get excited about until the until those pieces, the GM and the head coach, get in place. I wanted to make this video kind of short, you know. But, like I said in my last video, you know, the, the, the 49ers needed to get rid of Singletary and it, today was supposed to be that day but it was last week which I was happy about you know and, and it was weird watching the game yesterday because I I couldn't I have to see it again but I the shots thrown down the field I mean we threw more down the field in yesterday's game than we did all year that says a lot and Mike Johnson still calling plays but that says a lot, you know. Uh, I, I've seen a lot more mixing it up with the play. Even when the plays didn't work, like the couple of throws Alex threw to uh, Crabtree, you know, down the, hey, but we took a shot. You know, we actually went vertical. You know, he threw a beautiful pass to Ted Ginn for the touchdown. I mean, you know, th there's no reason why Ted Ginn's first touchdown was yesterday. He came here to spread the field out. Westbrook came here to spare Gore, to save Gore, and to get him in open space so he can make play. I mean, we got playmakers, man. But, you know, it, it, the season's over. So, the new direction of the San Francisco 49ers, you know, with the new GM and the new head coach, man. I personally want John Gruden. Um, not, And I'm not trying to be selfish as a Stanford fan, you know. Because, I mean, we're, it's very rare when my college team is good, let's just say. But I don't want Harbaugh. I mean, I, I guess I'll be happy with him, you know, because uh, I know he, he's an offensive guy. But it's just I want somebody with the experience in the NFL already. You know, maybe Harbaugh does work out if we do get him. You know, we're rumored to be Adam Scheffler saying, you know, we're rumored to get uh, to be heavily pursuing him. 
Um, and uh, Lombardi too, uh, Michael Lombardi on NFL Network as a GM. Uh, you know, I, I don't mind Trent Barkey, to be honest. A lot of Niner fans probably don't know too much about Barkey, but I don't mind Barkey at all. I mean, I think he had a solid draft, a, a draft that um, has a lot of potential. You know, I mean, you've seen the potential. I mean, you know, Val Bowman looked good yesterday. He looked good yesterday. That I was very pleased to see that. Um, you know, you, you got, you got, I know Davis is, I've been harping on Davis, and Davis is only 20 years old. You know, let's just see what he can do. You know, but he really needs to get better. But he, Potty looks good. I think Taylor Mays has a lot of potential. Um, you know, he, he he still has to learn the coverage game. But, I mean, I, I like his potential. You know, Bowman looked good. You know, uh, Anthony Dixon, another late-round pick. I mean, it, it seems like we have a potential, a solid draft so far. I mean, there's question marks still, but it has the potential. Um, I like the move to uh, get Ted Ginn. I, I, I like the move for Westbrook. It's just too bad that our coaching staff wasn't able to put them in the position to succeed. You know what I'm saying? Our, our, our coaching didn't use utilize our players. That's not Barkley's fault. And he came on a short notice after McClellan's, you know, biggest free agent move was fucking signing David Carr. So, you know, I honestly, I you know, you want somebody from the outside coming in, but I don't want people to, to complain about Trent Barkey because I, I think in a short amount of time, I, I really liked his aggressive move. I liked the way he was trading up to get picks, uh, uh, trading down to get picks and trading up to get uh, Davis. You know what I mean? You might say Davis is a bust or... Davis, you know, has a lot of work. Yes, he does. But the potential's there. He's only 20 years old, you know. And, we're, hey, we're may maybe with better coaching. Maybe with better coaching. Because a new coach is going to bring his own staff. And I like Ray Brown and, 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 and you know, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I forget the offensive line coach's name. My bad. But, you know, and I know Ray Brown's an assistant. You know, great 49er. Um, but, you know, maybe better coaching. You know, maybe better coaching. Who knows, you know? But anyways, man, uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. 49ers is in a uh, big, big, big time. I mean, crucial time to make this decision. I mean, this is huge, you know? The, this decision, this is the biggest um, decision this franchise is making since the number, number one pick in 2005. Biggest, clearly. I mean, th this... These two moves that Jay's going to do, well, he's signing one, and then the one is going to sign the other. But, I mean, the, the, this signing, what Jay's about to do, it, it, is going to make or break our franchise for the next five years. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? Uh, we're just going to have to see how it goes. Uh, I have the confidence. You know, he's going to talk to the Crab family and, of course, Uncle Eddie. But, man, he, he's got he's to nail this one right on the head. And, uh, you know, the coach, you know, Harbaugh, Gruden, you know, but who knows, man. But it's the end of the season, man. Just thank you for watching, you know, the 49ers, man. I just, disappointing year, uh, but we always stay faithful. Our colors never run. But anyway, man, let me know who you want for GM and, you know, coaching, head coach. You know, what direction you want the 49ers to go to, who you want to draft. You know, we're picking seventh now. You know, I know we got to get a quarterback. We got to get, you know, our uh, secondary straight. Uh, we got to get a pass rush still. Still, you know, work on the offensive line. Um, you know, there, there, there's there's some holes we need to do. We need to uh, fill up. But we're not we're not too far off, man. We need coaching bad. <laughs> we need we need coaching bad. Um, and there was a quote Vernon Davis said yesterday that. Uh, 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 that you know the, the players were scared to play for Singletary. They were they were worried about making mistakes. They made a lot of mistakes. Yes, they did. So, but anyway, man, holla at your boy, 49er Tone. Uh, man, you know, comment, subscribe. Let me know what direction you want the 49ers to go to, man. Like I said, shout out to my boy Don V, man. Good luck for the game tonight. 
But I gotta say, go Stanford, man. The biggest game I ever seen Stanford in, man. A, man I, I'm, I'm really happy. It really, really e eases the pain watching watching this team. <laughs> but holler at your boy, man. 49er Tom.